Hello and welcome to this edition of From Our House to Your House, or in this case, My House to Your House. I want to call your attention again to Gaetano Donizetti's 1835 opera Lucia di Lammermoor, uh, inspired by Sir Walter Scott's The Bride of Lammermoor. Um, 1835 was a very, very important year for Donizetti. Um, because uh, this is when his fame really, really, uh, really grew and he came into his own. Uh, Rossini had decided to retire and Vincenzo Bellini had uh, recently died. So Gaetano Donizetti had the opera world at his feet, so to speak. Um, I love this opera, Lucia di Lammermoor. Um, the roles are... Um, well, they're iconic, there's no other word for it. But the tenor part, as well as the, the uh, fabled soprano part, um, I'm going to focus on the Act One duet between uh, Lucia and Edgardo. Now, Edgardo, Edgardo Ravenswood, his family and Lucia's family have been, um, well, there's been bad blood for many, many years. And uh, in fact, uh, Edgardo's father was killed by the Ashtons. So you can imagine he, uh, on his father's grave, swore to avenge him. But Lucia is in love with Edgardo Ravenswood. So you can, you can see the, the tension um, and the conflict that will be played out in this opera. Uh, it is uh, very, very late at night, actually near dawn and Lucia is out, and they've uh, agreed to meet clandestinely, and we hear the urgency of Edgardo in this music. Listen, it's galloping almost. <laughs> resolute nature of that chord. Something's up, something's amiss. And he says, Lucia, forgive me that I come at this inauspicious hour. Um, I have a strong reason, a powerful reason, reason that has brought me here. Before dawn, I must leave these shores. Lungi sarò. I will be far away before morning. I'm going to France. And there, I'm going to try to sort out the problem, the problem of Scotland. Okay, and basically he's talking about this political family problem. And she says, um, you're going to leave me in, with my tears? He says, before I leave you, I'm going to speak to your brother, Ashton. I will give him my hand in friendship and ask for your hand in marriage to seal the deal. She says, oh no, this must be all kept a secret, at least for a little while longer. And he becomes very, very offended and, and says, yes, I understand. So it's not enough that, they've, that your brother has been the evil persecutor of my family. He took away my father. He took away my birthright. Is that not enough? What, what more do you want? Do you want, do you want him to kill me? Does he want my blood? He hates me. He abhors me. And she tries to calm him down. And this doesn't work. He says, listen to me and tremble. Now, that's a lot of text, isn't it? But it's delivered in recitativo, something I talk a lot about. It's this very, very conversational, often quite rapid delivery of the text to bring the story forward. Now you heard that galloping motif, which finishes... Lucia, perdona, si adora inusitata, io vederti chiede. Usually with simple chords. Ragion possente, a strong reason. Accio mi trasse. Pria che in ciel biancheggi l'alba rovella, dalle patrie sponde, lungi sarò. 
I must leave these shores and immediately. She says, what are you saying? By introducing these dotted rhythms, we uh, hear the importance of these political Scottish matters. Remember that in Europe, the, the idea of stories from Scotland, their feuds, their battles, the mythology, the mystery of the place drew, drew people like Donizetti to be interested in these things, these um, making them actually convincing them that these subjects or this subject, Scotland, was ripe uh, for the world of opera. Uh, Le sorti della Scozia. And she says, but you leave me in tears. Listen how the orchestra responds to, in her colour. Did you hear those little, almost crying figures? Pria di lasciarti. Now he mentions the brother. Ashton mi vengo. Io stenderò placato a lui la destra e la tua destra pegno. That's when the hand in marriage is asked for. She says, what? Ah oh, no, rimanga nel silenzio sepolto per or l'arcano affetto. And that's... He's written agitata, agitated, here, and with an affrettando, with a speeding up. Did you hear how chromatically these chords went up? She says, no, no, nobody must know about us. He says, ironically, Now, we're still in this recitativo, but did you hear how now the orchestra is spurring the singer on with these little gestures? <laughs> He's almost exploding with rage that all these things have been taken away from him, his father, his birthright. Is that not enough? Che brama ancor quel cor feroce e rio, that ferocious and evil heart. La mia perdita intera. Does he want me dead? My blood. E limoja, he hates me. Ma borre. Calma uccel, quelli. Calm down, she says. Al mardente. I'm burning inside. Here. He says, listen to me and tremble. It I love these chords. This chord is called the Neapolitan. Probably a good idea since the opera was premiered in Naples. That one. Listen to how it resolves. And then he sings a little arietta, a small aria, and uh, where I, I, I mentioned to you that um, he said that he swore on his father's grave that in his anger he will avenge his blood. Uh, the accompaniment is relatively simple because the, the tenor is now going to sing a tune, something that is accompanied in the real sense. And the accompaniment is simple and quite grave, but beautifully sustained by some violas. Listen. So you get rhythm and you get this beautiful sort of warmth at the same time. Sulla tomba on the tomb che rinserra il tradito genitore, my betrayed father, tua sangue, eterna guerra, eternal war. I 
swore against your family. You try in my anger. And listen to that. He introduces these very, very quick descending notes to, uh, to describe his, his anger. She, on a very, very high note, screams, ah. <laughs> well, this is opera, guys. Nel mio furore, But then, and this is the magic of this music, just suddenly he changes. But I saw you, and, and was born in me another feeling which made my anger subside. So listen to the change. The anger. She sings, ah. That beautiful chromatic coloring. And the surge. But the vow that I made is not broken. I could at any time fulfill it. Pur quel voto non è infranto, io potrei... Now, very, very um, declamatory here. Si, 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 potrei compirlo ancor. Where is that going to lead, lead us? Well, Lucia, and it says here, con affetto, with affection. She goes, she brings us into the major and tries to calm him down. Please calm down, put the brakes on. Um, a, a word, a word of our relationship gets out and we are finished. Is my pain not enough? Do you want me to die of fear? And he says, no, no, come on, give in. Um, only love, only love must inflame your heart. Um, Pure love is more noble and holier than anything. And so listen how she interrupts his anger. Si, 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 potrei com... Again, that dissonant, painful note. This phrase not only the fact that it's in the major but listen to these colorings beautiful huh just a word could betray us if we are found out then she goes to the minor herself is my pain not enough play you just Lucia's music it's gorgeous isn't it but against that to make real uh, drama and to make real true uh, storytelling we have to have the tenor saying, yes, but uh, the vow is not broken. I will at any point fulfill it. In other words, re the revenge for his family. So we get this. No more noble or holy thing as pure love exists. And against that... in thirds but two different stories they repeat that but this time traditionally they'll hold this he's 
still bursting at the seams. I could still do it. <laughs> she says, stop, give in to me. Again, he explodes. <laughs> that kind of storytelling where the music um, sounds one way but can be expressed another way um, just by intertwining uh, by giving different texts um, this of course is very simply done in the bel canto but very tellingly done now we gain uh, in intensity by changing the gear all of a sudden <laughs> Now what happens here is that he says we must swear eternal loyalty to each other. We must be married. And if we can't do it uh, officially, we must do it between ourselves. And um, he will give her a ring and she will give him a ring and they swear eternal faith to each other. The music through this figure... hear it in slow motion. You see the urgency of the matter again. So, um, this saying that um, that this ring um, is that will unite us it's and God will watch over us we don't need uh, a church or an or an altar <laughs> I'm your husband and I am your wife then for the first time they really, really sing together. Ah, soltanto il nostro fuoco vengerà di morto il gel. Our fire will put out the ice of death. Ah, mie voti amor in fuoco. She says, I, in, um, with my vow I invoke love. With my vow I invoke the heavens. And they have these dizzying scales. How many times have you heard this cadence from the bel canto? Um, it's a it's a feature. It's a tradition. But listen to this. Instead of dum bum, we go here. Separarci o mai conviene. We must separate, he says. And of course she's not happy. Il mio cor contene viene, il mio cor contene qui resta, cor contene qui resta. Edgardo, Edgardo, separarci mai conviene. We must separate. Now, listen to what she says. Ah, Edgardo, ah, Edgardo. If I play this in slow motion, listen to these chords. Now, if I, if I uh, remind myself of the A minor sonata by Mozart... <laughs> Very similar chords there. So these guys, Donizetti and Co., were aware of the greats, of course, uh, Mozart, Haydn, Beethoven. She says, But you will keep me in your thoughts. Ah, talor del tuo pensiero, venga un foglio me. You will write to me. It's very unusual. Huh? 
how she sings this because she's very, very fragile at this moment. She's going to lose him. And you'll send me something so that it may nourish my dying hopes. And he tries to reassure her. Io di te, memoria viva, sempre o caro, serbero. Now that note is not written. The original is this. The tradition is better, isn't it? Preo caro, serbero. She overlaps. And now the most famous tune from this opera is this. She says, to you on the zephyrs will come my ardent sighs. You will hear in the murmuring of the sea the echo of my laments. You will hear um, my sighing and it's with my sighs and sadness that I will feed my soul. So I play that again for you. The orchestra is just playing pizzicato, plucked strings. And above that she weaves incredible melody. Listen to these little colorings. She's talking about her laments. Her sighs. Her pain, her sadness. Shed a tear on this, my token of love. The ring, of course. same music. You see how weaving this tune on top with almost no support from the orchestra is incredibly difficult. And that kind of legato singing, that smooth singing, joining every note up like a, really like as if you were sewing the notes together, but not, you don't see any seams whatsoever. Incredible. They, of course, join each other in duet. <laughs> There's a little um, transition here. And now they finally sing this tune together, but also with the orchestra, the violins join them, and it is truly heavenly. The, the sound of the the zephyrs and the murmuring of the sea. Then alone, Lucia. gained energy it's irrepressible energy underneath this now the tradition is this 
Mm. And what Donizetti put in originally is this. It's, it's incredible. I, I still can't believe it when I look at it. He, he brings the tenor to a high E flat, which, believe me, is very, very, very high, and, and gives the lower part, uh, uh, yes, albeit a high C, to the soprano. But listen to this. So they go. It's exciting if they can do it. The famous cadence that you've heard a million times. He's going to leave, and you hear a little fanfare. Remember, the heavens will keep us together. I've heard some singers hold to the very end. When you have two great singers singing that duet, and when you, when you feel the complicity, the romance, the turbulence in their relationship and the the extremes of tempo of of uh, yeah the spasms of the music if you like it's uh, there's nothing like it but of course you need the greatest singers for this thank you and until the next time <laughs>